What's going on YouTube? Bird here and in today's video we are going over the overpowered anti-armor warglaive. But before we get into the video make sure you smash that like button with the false 76 can you can see this and subscribe for more false 76 content. Let's get into it. So first things first you have three ways to obtain the warglaive in Fallout 76 and the first way is by doing daily ops. On completion of daily ops, you do have a chance to obtain the Warglaive as a plan, and then once you have the plan, you can craft as many as you'd like. The second way is you can obtain the plan from the traveling Gobolion vendor Minerva, if she ever has it. But she can have it, so there is a good chance for you to get it that way. Then you can also obtain a Warglaive by completing a Brotherhood questline. I don't know which one it is exactly, but on completion of it, you get the Oathbreaker which is a suppressor's one, which reduces your target's damage output by 25%, has a 40% more power attack damage, and takes 40% less damage while power attacking. This isn't the best Warglaive in my opinion, but it's a free one, and it's definitely worth using. Now, the way you obtain the mods to this weapon is make your way over to Vault 79. Once you make your way over to Vault 79, make your way inside, say hello to everyone, hello, 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 come talk to Regs, once you talk to Rex, he has a ton of gold bullion plans, as you can tell over here. And you're just going to want to find the Warglaive plans. As I said, there is a ton of them. And there they are. We have the Shock Blade, Plasma Blade, Flaming Blade, and Cryo Blade. We'll be getting into those mods, but they are all 200, which isn't that bad at all. But with that being said, let's go over to the mods. Over in the mods, this is the legendary Warglaive we're going to be going over. And it is an anti-armor, which ignores 50% of your target's armor has a plus one to strength and also a 40% faster swing speed. This is almost a near perfect roll in my opinion, but over in the mods, we do have a total of five blades. We have our cryo blade, which is what I'm using. Target freezes, causing reduced movement speed for three seconds and adds cryo damage. Then we have our flaming blade, which I think looks the coolest, but target burns for five seconds and adds fire damage. Then we have our Plasma Blade, adds energy damage and Plasma Crit effects. Then we also have a really cool looking one, the Shocking Up Blade, adds electrical damage. So yeah, these are all the different mods and all of them are really good, I just do prefer the Cryo Blade for certain reasons. But we do not have any appearances or anything like that sadly, but I assume we'll be getting some soon. But with that being said, these are all the mods and everything with it, now let's get to the demonstrations. And the first place we're starting off our demonstrations is the Charleston Capitol building. And that is because there is a ton of ghouls here, and they need to fill the wrath of the Warglaive. But, before they fill the wrath and everything, this is the build we're going to be using. It's actually a really good build in my opinion, but you don't have to have this card maxed out. What you can do is have an Expert Slugger 1 star, a Slugger 1 star, and a Master Slugger 1 star. Instead of having a 20% damage, you'll have a 30% damage, which isn't a lot, but it is more. Sadly, I don't care about that. I'm just using this one maxed out. But yeah, these are all my normal perks. These are all my legendary perks, just in case you wonder why there's explosions for some reason. Now, let's get into the hack and slashing. Oh, uh, ghouls! Uh, you know what? We're not even sneaking. We're going to be using the flashlight. Oh. Oh, 953. Poor guy. He was the first one. Uh oh, is there another one? Here, we're gonna vat this one. Uh, yeah, I didn't see the numbers on that, but all I know is he's dead. So, you're dead. One thing I love about this weapon, though, is it just one hits almost anything. Oh no! We'll kill this one. Oh, girls! Well, when I say almost anything, I mean ghoul-wise and uh, super mutant-wise. But uh, Scorch Beast-wise or uh, Mylar Queen or something like that, uh, it might take a little bit more than just one hit. I think the super mutants do take one hit, though, to kill. Or they take two. But somewhere close around there. These guys, though, they don't even want to fight. As you can see, he was just like, please, please don't, don't think I'm here. Please, if I just fake I'm dead, he won't ever come over here and hit me. Which was a lie. Because I did. And now onto the super means. Eight 
and now we made our way over to the West Tech Research Center because this is where all the super mutants are doing their dipping. And I can't let that happen, especially with being a vault dweller myself. You know, all these dipping and stuff like that. I don't want my fellow dwe vault dwellers to be dipped, so. Goodbye! Oh, that actually did not kill them in one hit like I expected. Wow. That's a little bit better. Not amazing, but... Actually, that is pretty amazing. Especially with how fast it attacks. Sadly, it's not coming in one hit, though. It will kill that one in one hit. What about you, sir? I'll get a running start at you. Ah! Close. I knew it was going to be around two shots. <sighs> Come on. I just want to be able to one hit some super mutants. That's all I want. Maybe if I was sneaking, I could, but... Sadly, not with what I'm doing. Bring it on, super mutants. Here, we'll do a, uh, you know... Sorry. Heavy hit. Heavy hit. Pretty close to one hit, though. I bet if I had my, uh, I think it's Gun Fu equipped, which I do, but they're not in close enough groups for me to, like, you know, switch targets while in bats. But I think if that happened, then, oh, okay, I guess it does happen right there. Then I'd get more damage out of it. So let's try it, actually. Where's the dog at? We'll get the dog. Ah, yeah. Oh, my gosh, no. Ah, screw it. We'll kill him, and now onto the behemoth. And now we made our way south of Solomon's Pond, because this is where the super mutant behemoth, Cletus, rests. And Cletus, uh, well, he's uh, been a bad super mutant, as you can see. He's been killing people. There's a dead skull right there. And yeah, he totally, uh, he killed that person, skinned him alive and everything. That's why he's bones. He's a bad person. Very bad person. Bad super mutant. Bring it on, super mutant. We're definitely going to be hitting him bats in this one, because... You know, why not? Not bad. Definitely not as good as the fixer, but definitely not bad at all. Now let's move on to a bigger target. And now we made our way over to the Spruce Knob Lake, and that is because this is where the Marlar Queen is. And I did have to get a little bit more health while fighting her because I did have a fear that she might, you know, poison me and kill me with me being all up close and everything. Oh, Marlar Queen! Why don't you come over here and fight like a woman? Uh-oh. Here we go. Not bad. Not the best amount of damage, but definitely not bad. Here, we'll do some heavy hits now. Oh yeah, definitely Vats hits all the way. Vats hits is the way to go with this one. Especially when fighting bigger targets. See, there's the Vats hits. I need y'all to get off me for a second. There's the Vats hits, and here's the non-Vats hits. Not terrible, but... I think those vats hits way more. Goodbye, Marler Queen. And I'm definitely glad we got some more health when, before we fought her because we would have died instantly. But now let's move on to a flying target. And now we made our way to my favorite fisher site because this is my Scorch Beast, Charlie. And Charlie is probably about to kill me. Charlie, you need to relax? Here we go. Let's see how well Charlie does against the Warglaive. Uh-uh, don't you fly away on me. Don't you fly away on me. Bring it on, you freaking mutated bat. You've been a bad bat. And Charlie is no more until the next one. But uh, this is the overpowered Warglaive, guys. It is absolutely amazing. And definitely get your hands on it if you can. But if you enjoyed the False 76 content and you want to see more, make sure you smash that like button. Subscribe for more False 76 content. And guys, I shall see you in the next one. Peace.